Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the basics of drumstick technique. Now, it doesn't matter if you've ever picked up a pair of drumsticks before. This is designed to be a good first lesson uh, for the beginning drummer. Now, there are a lot of different options when it comes to what uh, stick technique you choose in the future. Uh, but for now, we're just going to talk about the basic principles that lie behind all of those techniques. So this is just a good primer video if you've never picked up a pair of drumsticks before. Or even if you have, uh, you may want to watch through it to see if you pick up some things that your first teacher never showed you. So let's get to it. How to hold your drumsticks. Well, um, there are a lot of different opinions, but again, uh, this is just going to be the basics. So let's go with the first technique that I was ever taught. Look at that point where your uh, palm joins with your fingers. The stick will basically sit across that join uh, where the fingers meet the palm here. After the stick is uh, resting on that point, just make a fist, and that's the basic grip that you'll use on your drumstick. If I try and hit the practice pad now, I want to make sure that the stick feels good to play. Right now, the stick feels very choked. It feels like I've got a good grip of it. It's not going anywhere. But the stick's not really bouncing back off the uh, rubber pad as I would expect it to. So what we have to do is change the position of the stick within my hand. Uh, you'll find that the further back you go, the more stick you have to throw. And all of a sudden, I'm getting a lot more power. But again, that stick isn't really bouncing off the practice pad, and that's what I want. Because in drumming, we make a lot of use of the bounce or the rebound of uh, the drumstick, much like a basketball player has to make use of rebound to keep his uh, keep dribbling his ball. So, how do we get that stick to rebound yet keep the power? Well, we have to find what's called the fulcrum. Now, the fulcrum is it's like the point on a seesaw, the point in the middle of the seesaw uh, that the board joins to and allows uh, both people on the seesaw to balance on it correctly. Uh, so my fulcrum is the point where the stick bounces the most uh, when I drop it into a practice pad. So what I'm going to do is uh, forget about the, the first uh, the stick grip that I showed you. I'm just going to allow the stick to freely bounce into that practice pad and see what happens. So just on the edge of my hand, I'm going to let go of the stick, let it fall into the pad and see what we've got. Okay, a good number of bounces there. Let's try moving the stick uh, off the edge of my hand a bit more. This is the Vic Firth Steve Gad stick, so I'm right on the gad here. I'll drop it in again. Okay, that was quite loud, but I didn't get many bounces. And again, what I'm looking for is a lot of bounces. So I don't think that coming right to the end, no, right at the end I'm getting even less bounces. So. Looks like I'll have to move it up a bit. Let's try on the US flag. Okay, I'm getting a lot of bounces on the flag. Okay, let's try further up towards the center near the F on Vic Firth. Okay, that's very light and airy, not many bounces at all. So I think I've found it. Let's try the H. I think I found it when I put my finger near the flag. So I don't know if that was done on purpose, but that's definitely where I'll be holding this drumstick. Um, you'll, you'll notice that it's usually uh, somewhere around there, about two thirds of the way down the stick. And when you grab that point, um, there'll be a little bit of drumstick hanging out the back of your hand uh, on a normal size hand. Anyway, um, so that fulcrum point, that's where most of the grip will happen. I play American grip, which means that the I basically hold the stick between my thumb and first two fingers at that fulcrum point. You can try holding it with your first finger or just the second finger. I, I tend to go a little bit of everything. Um, but basically, as long as you're, you're putting the uh, bias of your grip onto that fulcrum point, you should be able to get lots of bounce out of your basic stroke. Same with the left hand, find that fulcrum point, put those fingers around it, nice and relaxed as you make your strokes, and the stick should bounce right back up at you. Okay, so once you've found your fulcrum point and you're getting those nice big bouncing strokes out of your practice pad or snare drum or whatever, 
uh, we're going to do something now called a double stroke. Now a double stroke is where we make use of that rebound to get two notes for the price of one. So all we do is again allow that stick to bounce really freely just like with the fulcrum exercise but we are going to have our, uh, our, our full grip happening now so you'll, you'll put your ha uh, fingers around the stick allow it really loosely, allow it to bounce several times into the practice pad really big if you can and after you hear the first two notes you'll want to catch the drumstick okay and you'll find that you can get a quicker double stroke if you throw the stick a little quicker into the practice pad okay the next exercise we'll try now is to get a buzz out of the drumstick so a buzz is again allowing the stick to uh, bounce until it dies but we're going to apply a little bit of pressure now uh, to see if we can get a nice fast buzz just as we did with the double stroke So I'm just applying that little bit of downward pressure into each stroke to make sure that I'm getting those nice small bounces but that, that the uh, stroke doesn't die straight away on the first or second bounce. Uh, I'm trying to get the full number of bounces, just trying to make them small by adjusting the amount of downward pressure. So again, the whole point of these exercises is just to, to start developing that relationship uh, with your sticks and trying to get the feel of where to hold them exactly uh, because making use of this, uh, this concept of rebound or the bounce is really the key to speed and endurance in drumming. So there's plenty more stick technique videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.